Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Stratos. This is a, it's a little airship simulation game being developed by New State. came out over on Steam about a month ago, uh, where the idea here is we have ourselves our own airship, and we'll be, uh, we'll be building on that airship, adding new rooms, bedrooms, and workshops, and kitchens, and dining rooms, uh, hiring a crew, and putting them to work, and trying to sail about, fly about to the various different islands that are out there in the world, and uh, do kind of whatever we want. As we pick our new game here, we can choose a few different options. If we're going to be a magnet, our idea, our goal, I guess, is to try to basically make a bunch of cash. Purchase all the marketplaces in the world. Uh, be a pirate, just blow folks up. Conquer, blow things up. Warrior, blow more things up. Uh, An adventurer, sort of do whatever you want. It's a very open-ended kind of thing, and you don't, I guess... If you want a win condition, that's kind of how this works, but uh, we're just going to go with just the basic adventure mode right now. Last of my savings, I purchased my very own skyship to adventure through the azure. Explore the world as your pleasure. I will do that. I'll turn off the uh, tutorial hint so we can start this thing up, though. Uh, we got three crewmen to start with. We got Isabella Car uh, Kaysen, we have Cohen Hale, and Owen Brun is the names. Uh, they all have different stats. We can adjust this stuff if we want. Like, say we want uh, old Owen here. Maybe he should be our fighter. So we'll give him some uh, strength. He can be. He doesn't need wisdom. His whole job is to go punch things. Uh, some resilience, which would be hit points. Maybe a bit of fortitude. Maybe a bit of stamina. Uh, maybe a little bit of uh, more strength. There you go. Extra strong. He has a very good defense. He is terribly... Wow. Did I hurt that by doing that? Maybe I did. His defense is terrible. So he just goes in and punches things. <laughs> uh, background, he was a um, an old soldier. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, uh, I like it. So then everyone else will leave him, leave him as, the, as basic. Isabella, however, will say she was a, um, a workshop apprentice. Cohen, what can you do? A fledgling tailor. Sure, sure. That works. Hey, yeah, it all does is take one point away. Well, that doesn't do us any good. It does give you tailor and deliver traits. All right, so let's go ahead and, and begin. All right, welcome to my blue airship. Normal colors now. Uh, we have two rooms on this thing. We have a stockpile room and we have stairs. That's all we have at the moment. We are here visiting an island uh, right over here, which has a few th things on it. We can go out and, and, and scoop up. Is, uh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this. This is a very, very casual kind of a thing. Uh, so there's no, no, no panic happening here. Uh, right now, in the, uh, the, the stock room, we can see what we have. We've got some gold, we've got some food, water, materials, and energy. Uh, energy powers our engines, which is not necessarily a uh, necessity just yet. Well, as we get bigger, we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, we can come in and build new sh new, uh, new parts to the ship, though. For instance, we can come in here to the ship builder. And we can say, add on. Let's build up a whole uh, a whole new section here. Yeah, 21 materials to build that. And it'll build on a whole new area. You can see my, my whole ship just got extended there. Uh, and then we can go build a room here. Let's build an interior room. And we'll build in a, a bedroom. Right there. Makes people happy. They have some beds to sleep in. We will also... This stairs is already here. It goes up to the top floor. So up in here, we'll put in an exterior room and put a garden in. Which will allow us to grow food and water and, and hopefully keep ourselves alive. We can change the ship color if we want. You know, casual-like. Uh, yeah, yeah. A nice... A nice... A nice red. That's... That's not a nice red. Um... Yeah, a nice purple, I mean. We can change the color of the... We can do all kinds of designing in, in here as well if we want to. Uh, but what we probably should be doing is get, well, get these rooms set up and going and picking up these resources. So we're going to go to the island, and I want to pick up these material nodes. So they're going to hop out here, and they'll grab some materials, and they'll load up off of my ship. I have fifth, resume, uh, room for 50 spots, 50 pieces of materials. We can we can increase that as we want. Um, I just got an objective complete. That's, I guess, sort of a, um, a guiding thing if you need some help holding your hand along the way of, of objectives. And if you play the game with one of the more, um, more de defined win scenarios, that's where you get those. Uh, so we do need to make some things here. The bedroom needs beds, obviously, so we'll put some beds in. It takes five materials to make one. Let's pop a bed there, it's backwards, uh, there and there. We'll put three beds in there. And up in the garden, we need a water extractor and a plant. Now, the more we have, the more plant, more food and water we get. So let's put in a couple plants here. Um, last time I, did, I played a little, a little bit of this, two of those things was fine. So we'll do two of those and two water extractors, and that'll get us set up um, with someone who knows, someone who wants to be a, um, anyone have any sort of, no, no one cares about, about food. So not Owen, because they are our fighter, but, uh, Isabella. No, not you. Uh, well, uh, Cohen. Sorry, buddy, but you're going to be a farmer. 
Okay, so he'll go work that plot of land. Those things, the laborers will get that built in time, and then we'll be we'll be good to go. They're hauling all this stuff in still. And speaking of, we probably should actually add on a few things. We should probably add in a bit of storage stuff. So I'm going to add in uh, materials over long. We need some more more material spots. I'm going to add them in. I don't think it matters where, where like if it's blocking the, the area, you know. Put one there, and we'll stick a couple of these in here. A bunch of materials, and we'll put in a gold storage. Sure, another one of those. Anything else we, um... I had this full of stuff before. I remember what I put in there, though. Probably a bit of food, actually. Materials is important to have a lot of that. Um, maybe a little bit of food. We'll leave it as it is right now. We can, we can grab, I think, what's left over there. Anything left? Yeah, yeah. Keep grabbing this stuff. Bring all this stuff in here. Uh, let me show the map and show you what we are going to be getting into in, in a moment. Uh, what is that? This is some spices. We could bring some spices in. Um, yeah. Why not? It's there. Let's Let's bring it in. I'll put in a, a um, an item storage, what that one is. Pop that down right there. Okay, so uh, the whole point of the game is go fly around and, and explore the world. Here is our map. We're down here in the corner. As you can see, it's very big. It's it's very big. And uh, with our ship as it is right now, we can only go a few spaces. We'll eventually learn some things and, and go further. But we got a materials island up this way. We've got some food islands around. We have a, a manor, which uh, aristocrats like to trade luxury goods, such as uh, silk or gems or the spices we just picked up. So maybe we can sell those things off. There's a waterfall island over there. Uh, all kinds of different things out there. We can find uh, different islands, including like bandit islands and things. There's our item storage, which we can go and pick up that guy. There. We can also uh, attack the island if we wanted to. There's no one here. But if there's someone here, orcs or something, uh, bandits, we can actually attack the island. And, and it goes through a little combat mode that we can mess with. I bet it's backwards. It's annoying. Can I can I fix you? You. Um, can I fix you? I don't know how to do it. There it is. Move the prop. Rotate. Yeah, just like that. There we go. Okay. Uh, I, I should show off the, um, where is it, the objectives, here it is. So we have multiple ways of, of playing. We've got the tutorial objectives, just hire a new crew member. These are just basic things. As we do them, we will get points, uh, we'll get gold chests, which gives us cash or whatever. We'll get just various things along the way. There's combat objectives, which if you chose a more direct path, you would, these will become more important. Um, these are also sort of, sort of guides to kind of tell us what we need to be doing. So... Just sort of achievements, basically, along the way that gives us points to go do various things. Uh, this place has been um, harvested, so we should get out of here. Um, I would like to build another room, though. We got 72 points. We probably could. Um, there's a lot of other things we can do. Oh, I think I have a chest. Oh, I got a few chests. Potion chest for some health potions. Sure. Gold chests. 30 gold and materials chest. I'll take them all. Um, as we build onto our ship here, we can extend it further out, or we can add more rooms in. Um... There's lots of things we can make, like a passenger cabin if you want to carry folks around. If we go to a town and haul them around, medical bay, game rooms for entertainment, uh, workshops to make weapons and things, kitchens to eat, uh, clothes suite to make clothes, more bedrooms, a tavern. Um, I never tried out making like a passenger cabin, and I'm curious about how that's going to work, just hauling folks around. So we'll go ahead and build one of those and get it started as we start to fly to our next stop. Materials are always good, so I think we're going to go fly up to this one here. And go grab some materials that we will stock up on before we go explore the world. Um, we will level up in time. We can level our crewmen up as well. We have spots for three crewmen. And we have three beds right now. Uh, if I put another bed in there, actually, I can probably hire another crewman if we find a town for a fourth person. There we go. So that is built. Uh, did I say what, what I wanted you to be? Yeah, you need a you need two padded chairs. Uh, I guess you do more things. I, um, they don't really say what they do. Um, but they have th things to do with happiness and all that. So put two chairs in here. I'm assuming they're going to want a bed. Um, maybe we don't fly that long. I guess it's not really that long that we fly. Maybe not. Because you can see it's only been, what, I guess it's been 15 hours since we started. So well, I'm putting a bed in there for you. Waste my materials. All right, so we got a material island over here. So let's grab a few more of those. And we can, again, we can attack. But there's nothing here. So we're going to scoop this stuff up while we're... Uh, while I'm yammering on here. Looks like we got some mushrooms around that we can scoop up. They all go in that same item bin. Just random junk bin, basically. Which we can sell once we go to something more exciting. Which, do we see anything exciting? We got a snowy settlement up there. Uh, we have a fuel shop. We can go gas up if we need to, which we don't. This one is an, an ice biome, which I haven't been to before. Cannot be traversed, so I guess we won't be going there. 
We'll stop by that snowy settlement and see what we can find up that way. There's a food spot there if we need to find some, um, wrong button. If we need to find some food. I think everything's okay, though. People are somewhat happy. We, we have four beds now, which means we can hold a fourth person, right? We can hold, oh, we have five. I think, I guess, we can sleep up there. Whatever. Uh, we can have more people here. We can also, of course, bring people on board. Food's, uh, growing, even though it's very cold out here. And we did use one energy. Um, I never actually, I didn't actually didn't pay any attention to that before when I was playing, so I'm not sure how that works. Uh, we are working on grabbing all this stuff. There's no speed up button, so you know what? It's a casual kind of thing. Um, don't be in such a hurry, like I always am. Actually, while they're doing that, we could go ahead and put another stairwell up here. Um, let's do that. And I'm going to put more stairs in here. Yeah, just, just some stairs. Standard stairs. That way we can reach up to the next level if we need to. Uh, we can always extend outward if we want also. Uh, there is uh, other rooms we can put in is the um, like navigation rooms. We can have someone actually pilot around, which which spots various things out in the world. Uh, here we have... Do we level up? Oh, great point available. Do I? Doesn't say. Oh, here we go. We have we have a, a magnet point available, which is... Uh, well, there's a bunch of different things. We can get... Uh, things are cheaper. Um, we sell things for more, that kind of stuff. Uh, we can make our ship go faster or see out further. We can we can travel range has gone up by one. Um, cargo space goes up. More resources in each node, for instance. Uh, less orcs out there. I'm going to go ahead and increase my travel range. So we can see more of the world here. We have a lot of uh, materials coming in here. We've got just one more node that's getting harvested right now by old Frank. Whatever your name is. Oh, Owen. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then we'll bring that in. And, uh, and all aboard. And uh, we're going to head out. And go visit a town. He's going to go build that thing. Which, take another chest? Oh, yeah, gold. I'll take it. We're at 90 gold now. All right, so let's go explore this snowy settlement up here. Yeah. So we hit the base, and let's go. I'm very curious about this. I, I'm eager to try that out. Uh, we probably should get a, um, a workshop, start making some weapons so we can fight some folks, because I want to show that off. So, I mean, you don't have to do any fighting. You can just you can pretty much avoid it at any at all times if you want, assuming you're playing the more adventurous mode, not the fighting mode. Um, but uh, I want to show it, so we're going to do it. And apparently it's stormy outside. Here's a little town. A town that includes one house. <laughs> uh, do new passengers. Oh, we got passengers. Oh, here they come. Where do you guys want to go? Do you, do you care where you go? You just, you just, you just here. I don't have a quest for you. I don't have a quest for you. You just... It's weird. Um, so here we have people around here. So we can chat with them. We can get quests from them. We can hire new people on board. We can sell and buy. This guy wants to... We can buy food from him for seven or sell it to him for four. Which I've got tons of food. So I'm, I'll sell you a bit of food. I sell ten for four gold. That's how that works. I'll sell you a little bit. Um, pretty loaded here. Silver Ghost Thieves. A group of thieves have been stealing large fortunes. Go to the hideout and defeat the thieves, says Elvin Irox. I'll get a gold chest out of it. Sure, sure. I'm one for killing thieves. We can attack this place if we want to. Uh, gain your loot, but reduces standing with the faction. The faction being the Luminary Empire. I'm assuming somewhere here there's a list of who the different factions are, but I have not found it. So there's factions around somewhere. Yeah. Uh, we'll chat with um, this guy. We can hire a new crew. We got Linz, Bethel, and, and Stell. He's bookworm, uh, alchemist, deliberate bookworm, and uh, nothing. Well, really, you're just nothing? You're just worthless. You're very resilient. You got a lot of fortitude, a lot of wisdom. I'm going to take old Bethel here. Bethel the bookworm. I could hire more, I guess. We could have more people if we need it. It's, you know what? Why not? Why not? Still? Yeah. What this place needs is more bookworms. We can build... We can actually build a library. Uh, and they're going to come in here and, and hang out. We have beds for them. They're going to sleep in the passenger cabin, I guess. That's fine. They will eat my food, by the way. The passengers are eating my food as well. So we got to keep an eye on that. But I think what we want to do is go explore. Now, somewhere around here, there it is. There is the bandit hideout, which we can go do and fight. But I don't have any weapons, so I can't really do that yet. There's a snowy outpost up this way. Settlement there. Outposts let you interact with the owning faction. Oh, I've not seen that one before. Waterfall over there. Um, yeah, let's go uh, see what that's all about before we go any further. Got some points, apparently. Um, I'm going to build a workshop while we've got 110 points here. We'll stack it up, up over here. But interior room, I want a, uh, not a washroom, I want a, there's a library for happiness and, and, uh, uh well, happiness. 
Um, I want a... Where was it? Workshop, workshop, workshop. This way we can build like an anvil and start making some weapons so we can actually fight. And I'll show that off. Just sort of a little automated thing. We don't do much with it. We sort of place our guys out and they battle it out. But we can see what it's all about. I'm curious. I, I'm wondering what else is out there. I mean, clearly in the background, there's something going on out there. That, this is different than what I saw before. Last time I saw it was a giant tower. I guess it's still a giant tower, but it's, it's a different looking one. I don't know if it means anything, but... Um, oh, you guys look weird. Hello. Oh, we're hostile with you. Are we? Why? Local faction soldiers have gone rogue. Go to the hideout and put an end to the rebellion. Okay. I can give you a gift. What do you want? A hundred gold! You're not getting that. So we attack the town. This is a fort. Obviously, this is a fortress. Okay. Okay. Um, again, we don't have to fight them when we were right here, but but they're fine. We can actually... Actually, I forgot to show this. Uh, some of the things that we can make is, for instance, we can come in here. We can say, I would rather you be a... Maybe it's not here. Maybe it needs to be an outside room. A uh, navigation deck or a archery room or a gun deck to put our cannons on that we can go blast folks with. Uh, yes, please. I will do that right now. Why? What's wrong with it? Uh, can you get... Oh, maybe you can't get up there. Right, you can't get up there. <laughs> uh, I need more stairs. So we'll put some stairs in, and then we'll get up there. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. And then you are... What do you want? You want an anvil? And I... Okay, we'll do this while, we, while we're here. Let's put our anvil in. Actually, we'll do that while we fly, I guess. Let's go to... There's there's the soldier's camp. Um, a market. A little silly settlement over there. There's some snowy ruins, which gives us energy. There's a merchant. We'll go visit the merchant, see what he wants. Yeah. There's the merchant. While we're flying, let's put in... You need someone to work this as well. So we need to get an anvil and an item storage. So let's put in some props. We want a anvil here. And an item storage. Right there. That's all they need in there. We can put whatever we want. We can design it a little bit more. Um, but... Let me do it here. We can say... Can I say this room... Yeah, I can change this room to be, like, red and put some, some lights in there, I guess. Different color lights, that's what I'm doing here? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Um, change the floor color. Can't really see it, but you can change the floor color to be something different if you wanted. Uh, you can also add in, like, rugs. Just for fun. But, you know, just make it look fancier. Uh, we do need a, we need someone to work this place, so let's go get one of our people. And if you... What I think I think one of them was a... Blacksmith. Here we go. So Isabella is going to be my crafter. So with Isabella up there, we can tell her what to make. We can go to the crafting menu here, and we can say, I would like some weapons. I want a... A plain metal sword takes five materials and four gold. I have a lot of that. Well, not a lot. This one takes minerals, which I don't have any of. So we'll grab a couple swords. Actually, I think there's something better. Warhammer. 12 attack. What's that attack? 18 attack. Okay, we'll do that one. Warhammer is uh, bad defense. We can also make armors uh, with some, uh, metal armor, which takes minerals I don't have. We can make pirate hats. Yeah, make some pirate hats. Pirate clothes. Um, some cloth armor. I'll take some of those. Yeah, get to work making some things. We'll equip some folks when we can get to work. Um, it actually, the, the walls actually does make, do nice, doesn't it? What do I do with you? I don't know what you want. You just, are you just here? Are you just here forever? Just like enjoying the ride? So again, this is a merchant. We can go fight him if we want, but we can just chat with the guy. He, um, he is selling materials. I will buy your materials, sir. I'll buy all of them. I don't need gold. Thanks. He only has one thing. He's a worthless trader. But it's something, I guess. I kind of do want that to be like a like a nice blue room. Can I change the walls to be... Yeah. Then we can... Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like it. I didn't mess with that before. Um, all right. We get food and um, and water is fine. Actually, we're making enough of plenty of that. I can maybe deal for more storage. I can probably put another storage room in here. Um, but let's go and... See what else we can find over here. There's a market over there. There's a fort, which I've never been there before. I went to which fort did I go to? It was up here, wasn't it? There. Don't have a fort. Let you interact with owning faction. 
We don't know who's there. Let's go visit him. There are some merchants all around this place. We got another level up here in which one? Magnet. Um, faster gathering of resources sounds like a good thing to have for a 20-minute video. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah, yeah, it's just a very, a very chill kind of thing. It's it's sort of base building. Uh, it's it's sort of uh, tradey and, and and fighty. I forgot we're supposed to. We I can't in this video really fight someone, so we will go find someone to fight in a moment. We'll get people equipped here in a second. We've made our way to a fort. We'll see if these are our friends. If not, who are you? Ah, oh, diamond. They're hostile as well. So you know what? Let's let's real quickly. I have materials, right? Yeah, let's go and... What's this? So I got a chest. Gold chest, I'll take it. Oh, I, I leveled up. P crew, too? Oh, we all leveled up. Okay, so when we level up, we can either do... It's it's pretty basic. We can either do strength or resilience. Strength is attack, resilience is defense. So, you know, more strength for you. Uh, Owen here, we know, is, is the Isagar Beast. So, Owen, I'm going to go ahead and give Owen some some strength. So he's tough. We're also going to give him some, some gear. We want to make sure he has the cloth armor. He's also going to have a plain metal sword. Um, we don't have anything else. Oh, a pirate hat, right? A metal. We have a metal helmet. Where the metal helmet, buddy? Okay, so he's got the basic stuff. We'll also give the other ones to Isabella. She seems pretty tough here, so we'll give her armor, pirate hat, and a better sword. And that's basically all we have. You're still working, though. Did we get another one in here? I think you were a little bit tough. Uh, yeah, you can get a better sword. Right now we have a plain metal sword. Um, and that's all we've got. Okay, that's fine. Um, I do also want to see if we can go up here and put in a gun deck. I don't have any cannons. We'll see how this goes. It's my menu of objectives. We're just trying to get everything done, I guess, for the uh, tutorial. Yeah. So we'll probably lose this fight, but we can see what it's all about. You know, we can attack this thing. Attack and get you loot. Uh, make sure, basically, that we think we make sure that we have cannons armed before we fight things. This is what it says when you fight towns. May not have materials for this. We'll have to see. Ooh, materials chest. There we go. Ten more. And more level ups. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I should level up. Strength. And such a, a scary sound when you level up. And strength. Okay. Okay, so up here now we need two cannons. Okay, so let's put in two cannons. Where are they at? Uh, telescope cannon. Okay, and then someone has to run it. So someone needs to be my cannoneer. So we will go toss, um, not Owen, he's going to be fight. Well, maybe. We'll put Bethel in there. You're my cannoneer. I need two people in there? Okay. You don't have to stay in there, but just be in there for now. Get up there and fight. Okay, they're heading on up there. What are you all about? Orc troubles. Oh, you want me to go do a job for you too? No, no, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fight. Attack. Where do you use cannon abilities? Make sure you have cannoneers assigned to gun decks before attacking. Let's do it. Okay. I don't know how this works, but we're going to try it. So we're going to throw in... We're going to deploy our folks. Uh, I've done a little bit of fighting for us, so I know what this is all about. So we've got an archer and a couple swordsmen here to fight. We're going to lose, by the way. Uh, Isabella will go in there. Uh, Cohen will go right there. And then Owen's going to lead the pack. And, of course, Bethel and Stella are in the back. I guess we can... I don't have any cannons. <laughs> I don't have any cannon balls. <laughs> Okay, well. So we all just sort of fight. We just place them where we want to go, and then we just let them fight it out. We're dying. We're getting slaughtered. And we got we all died. No one died, but we act, we all get injured. And now we're sad. Um, but we tried, and that was a that was a, a big failure, because apparently you have to buy cannonballs. Who would have thought? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, there is Stratos. It's available, it's on Steam, and uh, I'll put links and all that stuff below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.